Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for October 11th of 2023 well, it is titled NGC 1097, Spiral Galaxy with Supernova. So what do we see here? Well, this is an example of a spiral galaxy, and in fact, a barred spiral galaxy. As you can see, a distinct bar going through the center and then spiral arms coming off the end of that bar. Now, many galaxies are barred spirals, including our own Milky Way. And we also see the standard signs associated with a spiral galaxy, including, of course, the spiral arms themselves, but also within those spiral arms, the bluish star clouds and the pink hydrogen regions all associated with star formation. Now here it's those blue star clouds that are important because when stars form some of the first stars to form are the most massive. Now those massive stars form quickly and they don't live for a very long time and they will eventually end their lives as a supernova. And that is actually what is imaged here. The labeled dot, that star, is not one of the stars in our own galaxy as the other stars in the image are but is actually a star in this distant galaxy. And that is a star that has reached the end of its life and exploded. Now, when we first find a supernova, we have to determine whether it's which of the two types it is. So there are two major types of supernovae. One is a massive star at the end of its life. And that's what this was determined to be. And the other is a compact star called a white dwarf, which has exploded. And that is called a type one supernova. The one we see here is a type two. Now both tell us different things. The type one supernovae are very important for learning about the distances in the universe. They serve as a standard candle to be able to determine distances out a good ways toward the edge of the universe. The type two supernovae help us to learn something about the end of massive stars lives. So while they're both supernovae, they both tell us very different things about what is going on with the uh, star itself. It's two very different types of stars that will become supernovae. Now, Type two supernovae are only extremely massive stars. A star like our sun has no chance to become a supernova like this. And that's because it simply does not have enough material within that star for it to become to, to build up and become unstable in its core and explode. Now other stars can become a type one, but a type one supernova requires a binary system. It requires two stars orbiting close together. And the other one has to be a very specific type of star called a white dwarf star. And right at the edge of its mass limit just before it is about to become unstable. So those two different types, the type one, that white dwarf star, that will rip itself apart and type two, the massive star at the end of its life. And that's the one we see here studied in the image today. So that was our picture of the day for October 11th of 2023. It was titled NGC 1097 spiral galaxy with supernova. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be the Garnet star. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.